Hey, Corey, it's Viola here. How are you doing? Um, I wanted to quickly go through your web presence here, go through a couple of your competitors, and then just talk about a couple of things that I can help you with. All right, so for starters, I love the way your website looks, great color choices, it's straight to the point. Um, I am going to suggest that in order, in addition to having your phone number here on the on the desktop and it's clickable, um, this is a screenshot of me taking a photo of it on my mobile phone. And I'm going to suggest that you also add the phone number here on the mobile because 99% of the people that land on your website will be utilizing your mobile phone. So you definitely want to make it easy for them to reach out to someone, especially considering that they've already found your site, which is the hardest part, right? Okay, but other than that, um, I love the movement. Okay, we got some. These all link out to other sites. Good, very good. Some profiles, social profiles. And boom. Okay, that's it. So Google likes to see at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on here. And that's for two reasons. The first reason is because Google has crawlers. And they're crawling the content because they're trying to figure out what areas you serve and what services you offer. So for example, I noticed that you are located in Sewanee, Georgia. If you add on here um, HVAC Sewanee, Georgia or HVAC Repair Sewanee, Georgia, and you add it on here a bunch of times, especially in these bolder sections, um, Google is going to be willing to put you higher up in the search results so more people will be able to find you so for example when somebody goes to Google and they type in HVAC Sewanee, Georgia, right? First thing we see are all the Google paid ads. And then we see this section right here. And this section has everything to do, we call it the map pack, but it has everything to do with your business name, address, and phone number being listed throughout different directories, aka a citation. Okay, so in a directory, when I say a directory, I'm speaking about like white pages, yellow pages, yaks, um, Instagram, Facebook, all of these are different directories that are free to enter your information into. But the strategy to win here, as far as to get in the top three, is to find out exactly how many citations does the top company have. If they have 150, then you want to make sure that you're getting at least 250 to 300. So you're outranking them every single month after month after month. Because you and I both know, if we click on this right here, we're going to find 10 other pages of businesses that are doing the same exact thing you're doing. But nobody goes past page one for anything, right? And speaking of number one, Reliable Heating and Air is currently ranking in a number one position for this particular um, for this particular search in Sewanee, Georgia. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at their site and see how their site is optimized. I know Reliable Heating and Air is huge, but believe it or not, you can outrank this page. You probably can't outrank the whole company, but for Sewanee, you can outrank them. Because let's take a look at how much content they have on their homepage. All right. Looks like you guys are kind of in the same ballpark when it comes to content. They have about 1,500. They do have some videos on here, so I'm going to suggest that you you add a few videos as well, too. But aside from the content, um, the first thing you notice when you get here is the location, right? Sewanee, Georgia. And then the second thing you notice is exactly what it is that they do. This is what the Google robots like to see, believe it or not. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and hop over to this tool that I use called Arefs, and it just lets me see the back end of a website and what's going on with it. The first thing you see essentially is a DR, and the DR is a power flow from Google, and the UR is a trust flow from Google. Both of these numbers are increased by something called a backlink, and all a backlink is is an endorsement from another company, or better yet, a, a another website that has a clickable link on it. And when somebody clicks on it, it in turn passes over trust and passes over power. As you can see, they don't have any backlinks. So that's not what's powering up their particular site um, or this page. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these keywords because this is what I really wanted to get towards. So air conditioning repair Sewanee. This right here says that 150 people look for this keyword on a monthly basis. This company is in the number two position for that keyword and they get 28 calls per month just from this one keyword. Then you have HVAC replacement near me. Uh, a thousand people look for that. Um, I would prefer to stick with the ones that say Sewanee in it because near me could be anywhere within the United States or whoever has a, a, a computer. So HVAC Sewanee, Georgia, 40 people look for that per month. This company is in the number two position for that one keyword and they get 15 calls per month just from that one keyword. You know, and the list goes on and on. So I would say these are the type of keywords that you want to have integrated into your homepage of your website so that way 
the more people that are able to find your website, that's going to turn into the more people that's going to be able to call you and the more clients and the more leads that you're going to be able to land. So, so that's all I have for you, Corey. I really hope this was very helpful for you. Um, please leave me some feedback. Let me know if you think that you'll be able to put some of this information to use. And if you need any help with it, I'm more than happy to assist you. My information will be in the email. I hope you have a blessed day. Take care.